Hey Bunny's Guitarist, here's a few tips for acoustic guitar parts on Before the Throne. We're in the key of C. If you're doing an intro, it might be like a full verse, but it also could be just sitting on C to C sus4. I'd play that like this. The key goes in on the F note, on the D string. And then you hit that uh, beat one of bar four, let it ring, and that tells everyone that's the end of the intro. You could roll that around a couple of times if you want. Uh, C to C sus. I'm not really hitting the low E or the high E. Thumbs muting that low E, first fingers kind of making that high E dead. The strum, it's in three, four, one E and A, two E and a three, one E and one E and A, one E and A, two E and a three. Notice the left hand tightens and releases so you get some dead chucka chuckas in there too. F's are bouncing between an F and an F sus2. That's why I like this version of an F thumb first, a uh, tonic first with your third finger. Open G, C, and you can if you get the F on top or not. Gives you that chance to have a little bit of movement and that can be quite cool rather than some static chord. It's a little tricky to get your fingers used to playing the F like that um, uh, and you're muting the A string but it's next uh, level rather than just the which also breaks your hand there's so many F chords in there between the F and the A minor in the chorus part. So I hope that's kind of a helpful uh, little bunch of stuff there and um, you can, you can feel how it moves between A and the F quite a lot. You can play A minor seven a lot there too. Uh, gives you some more options again for that bouncing between the A and the G. Little things like that that can really add a little bit there. You can just play the G bass note in between the F and the A minor a lot of the time too. That works kind of nice but uh, it's essentially just between the F and the A minor with the G in there, just a little. Um, all the best, cheers.